all, how, what was the experience like uh, for the athletes down competing in the preliminaries? Yeah, preliminaries uh, is always a tough competition, uh, super uh, good uh, depth in all events. Uh, we have the four, 48 people that are the best at their game in each event down there for each gender. And so tough competition, you know, people really brought it. Uh, lots of good uh, performances and the Bearcats, uh, of course, uh, hung in there. We got the people through that we thought really, uh, you know, were ranked high enough to get through. And uh, we had a few we were hopeful for that they would make it uh, and they performed really well. But uh, we just just got a little short on some of our athletes. And so that, while that's never fun, I'm still very proud of how they performed and uh, uh, really, you know, proud of how uh, how much uh, effort they put into it and how hard, hard they battled down there uh, to, you know, go after those marks and place finishes. You know, first we start off with Bienenfeld. He was obviously, you know, number one in the event. So hopefully it wasn't a surprise that he qualified. Uh, but what does it mean for him to be able to go um, and, and compete in the finals uh, for the Bearcats this season? Yeah, Aaron's had a fantastic year. One of the goals he had uh, when we talked last summer during COVID, um, he is like, I really want to come back and represent the Bearcats well my last uh, season with the team. Uh, his goals were, of course, to make it to all three national championships, and he did that. Uh, so we're really proud of him for achieving that. Uh, being ranked number one in the event, of course, it sounds like that's easy peasy, but you have to earn it the hard way, especially in the 10K, running 25 laps in pretty hot and humid conditions. He did a great job, ran a smart race, and uh, you know got himself in a really good position for the finals in Eugene. Let's look at Keja now. You know, she not only qualified in the 100, she qualified in the 200, and she did it in style. PR times, Olympic qualifying time, uh, you know, in the 200 meter. Yeah, uh, Keja has really uh, been uh, on a roll, uh, working hard on her technique, on her form to, uh, you know, improve. Of course, uh, in the sprints, especially the 100, it just comes down to a tiny little smidge, and uh, that can divide, separate you from your competition. And so she's had a fantastic prelim in the 100 and then backed that up with her performance in the quarterfinals, uh, etching out a spot uh, at the NCAA finals. And same thing in the 200, that's her premier event. She is uh, extremely excited about that event. And for her to go down there, run a school record and uh, uh, get an Olympic qualifying time was outstanding. So we're really proud of her for that performance. Uh, and, you know, we'll follow up with Taylor Beard. Uh, she qualified for her second NCAAs um, for this year. She obviously went for the out, uh, indoor season earlier in the year. Um, what does it mean as for her as a freshman to be able to go um, and, and compete at such a high level and represent the Bearcats? Yeah, Taylor's uh, also had a very outstanding year. She uh, keeps finding ways to uh, get her name uh, on the lists uh, to make it to these, uh, uh, you know, big, big time meets. And it's just fun to watch her really uh, enjoy her season and uh, grow into this, uh, you know, highly ranked high jumper. We have a long tradition in the event and Taylor is doing a good job, uh, you know, continuing that tradition. And uh, we're really excited to, uh, you know, take her to Eugene and watch her compete on that big stage and uh, wish, her, wish her nothing but the best out there. The fourth athlete going out for the fifth event um, is uh, Damien Berthene. He obviously automatically qualified with his time earlier in the season to go to Eugene. Uh, talk a little bit about what Damien's been working on um, over the last few weeks to prepare uh, for the finals. Yeah, Damien uh, actually has a qualifying mark strictly based on the list. Uh, his uh, multi-performance from early in the year down in Tennessee uh, is ranking him uh, really high in the NCAA. And so that's how he's got qualified because the multis don't have to do the prelims. Thank God, that'd be a lot. Um, and so he's qualified in the decathlon. He has had a little bit of, a, uh, you know, had to take a little bit of a break to let his body recover after the conference uh, meet. And uh, he's uh, training really strong. Uh, his uh, care staff uh, in the training rooms assured me that he's ready to go looking great and uh, so he's just uh, putting some finishing touches on getting his body and mind ready to compete at uh, a very high level in Eugene. Awesome. Well, thanks, Coach, and we're looking forward to seeing how the Bearcats finish next week in uh, Oregon. Yeah, thank you so much and go Bearcats.